Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a score count in your game. Okay, so this little scene I've set up, um, I have a floor, uh, two cubes and uh, my person, my character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create a script so as when you touch these you effectively pick them up and add to your score. So before I do that, I'm actually going to change the um, lighting just a little, just to make it a little bit darker. Okay, so first thing you need to do is here in your hierarchy, you need to add an empty game object. And I'm going to call this uh, master score. Over here, add component, new script. Uh, let's see, and let's call it score count. And I'm going to do this in JavaScript. So click create and add. Okay, so we open up our score count script and it opens up in MonoDeveloper. And within Unity as such, which enables you to write and uh, review code for your game. Okay, so we'll give it just a few seconds to open up here. And the first thing we'll do is when it has opened up, is delete any preset code that it gives you. We'll be writing this one from scratch. Okay, so what you need to put is static var, um, we'll call this just g score. Um, we'll make it an integer. And we'll make it equal to zero. So effectively what we've done here is we have said we want to state this variable known as gscore, which can be called anywhere within the game, not just in this script. So the function we want to use is on GUI. And remember, it is cap sensitive, so it's a lowercase f on function. It's a capital O and capital GUI. And brackets and open curly bracket. Okay, so the next line down, we need to define what we want as our GUI. So I'm going to put GUI dot label, and this is going to be just a nice simple one, rect, and then we'll do, let's say, 10, uh, 10, um, 100, uh, 20, and then close bracket comma and then we need to state what we want it to actually say so in this case we'll put score and then we'll put here g score two close brackets and then semicolon and then close curly bracket okay so this line just here is stating that we want to create this and we want it to say this and then display whatever the value of g score is Okay, so save. Next, in your asset window, right click and create another JavaScript. And we'll simply call this one, uh, let's see, let's just call this counter. So then open that up. It'll take a second. And once again, back in MonoDeveloper. Delete any preset code that it gives you. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to make whatever object this script is attached to disappear and add one to our score. So to do that, we type in function on trigger enter. And in the brackets, we need to put info and collider. Uh, open curly brackets at the end. Next line down, we need to put destroy and then game object. And remember, it is cap sensitive, so it's a lowercase g and a capital O. And what that line does is when we touch um, whatever object this is attached to, it disappears or destroys. So next, we need to put, um, we need to quickly remember what we stored. Our score as so we called it score count so here we need to put score count dot g 
score plus equals one semicolon and then close curly bracket and save so what we've done here is reference our first script we wrote which was score count and reference the variable that hides within it called gscore and we want to add one to whatever the current score is equal to so if we head back into unity and then if we place our counter onto our objects just here which we want to um, count as our score so i just have a yellow cube and a blue cube and you should see down here that they have counter so now on your character your controller go to the uh, collider option and hopefully this should work if not there is alternate methods that we can use and click is trigger when we press play we should hopefully be able to play the uh, the area which we can oh no nope. He just falls, but you can see just here our score is working. Okay, so one quick way to get around that if we're using third person controller, you can click on Ethan Body as I have the default controller, add component and uh, physics, and then we'll just put a box collider and make sure that is ticked as trigger. So when we press play, What we need to do, as it isn't quite as we want it, we need to increase our box collider size. So I'm just going to put this as, let's say, 0.6, no, 0.75. So now hopefully you can see that over here, our box collider, which is the green line, is just ahead of our actual model, which is the white line. So now, when we run over it will disappear we'll also do the blue one and you'll notice over here it has increased the score now effectively you can do this as many times as you want so if we were for example to duplicate these particular cubes and create more of them our score would now in fact reach four as there are four objects for us to pick up as you can see it's four alternatively if we do a first person controller standard assets characters first person controller prefab and let's put our first person in about there and let's pull them up okay so fingers crossed if we add component and um, physics box collider and put his trigger, this should hopefully work. But we will soon see. Okay, yes, there we go. As you can see, it is picking up our boxes. Our score has increased to three. Okay. And that is how you can add first person um, scoring and also third person scoring with simple GUI. Hope this uh, tutorial has been educational for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching.